In this lesson, we'll be doing a quick example on airbags and how they can produce volume of gas. We'll be doing an exact chemical reaction just to show you how they can ask this in an exam. But before you, we get into that, just know that airbags are used in cars as a mini controlled explosion and it produces gas. The explosion will produce a gas. So here you can see nitrogen gas, which inflates the bag. So when one car hits another car or an object or something like that you've got a sensor so a crash sensor that triggers this reaction and the reaction produces a large volume of gas which is where the inflation of the bag comes in so here's how it works sodium azide azide na n3 is sometimes used in airbags when triggered it has the following reaction can you see that it's a solid compound in my little airbag over here and when we trigger the reaction we produce sodium but here most importantly nitrogen gas it is the gas that will inflate the airbag so this is how they can ask it in the exam they can give you the balanced chemical equation and they can say if 55 grams of sodium azide azide is used in a in three what volume of nitrogen gas would we expect to produce so very similar to the previous lesson that we did, we know that we are given information about the substance over here, the reactant. They want information about a product. We want to go from here to here because they give me the mass of this one, but I ultimately want the volume of this one. To go from one substance to another in a chemical equation, we need to use a mole ratio. But before we use a mole ratio, I need number of moles. So we need to take the information that they gave me about the reactants, which is that the mass is 55 grams, and I need to convert that to number of moles. And if you are aware of the formulas, you will know that the formula that makes the most sense to use in step one is this formula. So you write your blank formula down. I'm working out moles of NaN3. It's mass divided by molar mass. So my mass is 55 grams. The molar mass you get off the periodic table, you take sodium, which is 23, and we add nitrogen times three. Nitrogen is 14 times three. That gets me 65 grams per mole. So that number, 65, goes over there, the molar mass, big M, 55 divided by 65. Now I'm getting a very large number. You can simplify the fraction, 11 over 13, or you can write down what that is equal to. Zero, uh, when I say a large number, I mean a long decimal, 0, 0.84615538. Keep at least six decimal places. You can see I'm going a little bit overboard. That's the moles of NaN3. The reason I don't round off is because I'm not at the end of the question. Why? What do I need to do? We want the volume of nitrogen gas. So as I said, we need to go from this compound to this compound. We need to use a mole ratio. So I'm trying to go from NaN3 to nitrogen. The mole ratio, according to the balanced chemical equation, is 2, let's use a different color, 2 to 3. So under NaN3, we're going to put a big 2, and under nitrogen, N2, we're going to put a big 3. What I currently have is I worked out the moles of NaN3 over here. I have that answer, which I put over here. And now I need to work out this over here, the number of moles of nitrogen. Now, this ratio is a little bit more complicated than like maybe a one to two or two to one ratio. So when it comes to ratios like this, what I do is I divide on the side and I times on the top. So what I mean is what I type into my calculator is I type in 0, 0.8461538. I divide that number by two. Okay, you divide on the side to so divide by two and I times that by three. And what I get is something like 1,2692307 and so on, moles of nitrogen. Another way to do it, if you don't like this divide on the side times on the top method, is you can ask yourself, what must I multiply 2 by to get to 3? You must multiply 2 by 1.5. So 2 times 1.5 gets me 3. So then you can multiply this number by 1.5. And you get to the same answer. But we're not at the final answer yet. I want to work out volume of nitrogen gas. Now, we've got moles of nitrogen, but I want volume of a gas. Let's go back to our formulae. Remember, when dealing with volume of a gas, we're going to make use of this formula. This is my gas formula. Not this volume, not this volume. These are for solutions, aqueous solutions, mixtures, and such. But when dealing with gases, we're going to make use of this formula. And what this question actually should be saying is that how much volume of nitrogen gas would we expect to produce at STP? They should say at STP because 
if I want to make use of this formula, because volume of a gas, then I need to be told the molar volume if it's not taking place at STP. And the question didn't tell me what the molar volume was. So therefore we have to assume that it is at STP or they should actually tell us because when the reaction takes place at STP and a gas is produced, the molar volume is 22,4. This is given on the formula sheets. So we are currently going to work out what the gas is, the volume of the gas. So this is what I'm looking for. Produced the moles of nitrogen. We calculate it over here. So we put that over there. Volume is what I'm looking for and molar volume is 22,4. That means you multiply these two numbers together and our answer is 28,43 cubic decimeters. Remember, don't round off. So keep this decimal here to five or six decimal places. Don't round off. Only round off right at the end. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye, everybody.